Good morning, Sunday people. I'm not doing anything today. I'm not getting dressed. I'm not leaving the house, but I do need to eat. So this is what I've got so far. I have kale, but I've had to pick the bad bits out because this is from the 24th of October off the reduced counter for 22p. But today it is actually, what is it? The 11th of November. It's, it's just another example. That if you can see up there, in very, very small writing, it's best before. So you don't have to eat these things by the date it says. It just means best before. And had I eaten it before today, I wouldn't have had this pile of rubbishy bits. But this is all fine. So I've got that. And then I've also got, <clears throat> I grow my own potatoes and I was left with all the little dinky tiddly ones. So whatever I eat, it's gonna have something to do with potatoes and kale. Potatoes chopped, garlic's peeled, now I'm gonna chop up the garlic. Garlic is chopped. And again, the garlic came from the garden, the potatoes came from the garden, Here's what it looked like before I chopped it. So when food comes from the garden and you grow your own, it doesn't come with a date on it. You just have to use your good sense to find out whether it's still good to eat. I've washed the kale. Obviously this didn't come from the garden, but you can see by looking at it, it's absolutely fine. So that is as far as I've got. I also have an egg. Well, I have four eggs, but Yuan's bags eat three for an omelette because he doesn't want a Mary concoction for lunch. The next plan is to raid the fridge because I genuinely don't know what I'm going to put with this. Okay, so we have some sun-dried tomatoes and there's only a few left in the bottom so I might finish those off. This is takeaway dips from an Indian but there's some some of those onions you get with poppadoms so I might put that in. This is the super spicy one that you get with India, but it's too spicy for me, so I'm not putting that in. What else do we have in here? We moved up. Ooh! Olives. We'll get them out. I might do. Might put olives in. Pickings are slim. This is food from the restaurant. Some leftovers. I'll have that for tea. Uh, pineapple and chocolate mousse? Probably not. We've got a squirt of lime. Do a squirt of lime, it needs to use that one. Um, that could be past it. We've got some very sorry for themselves limes. Let's have a look at these. And then we've got well, apples. Okay, so oh, one more place we can look. So we might see about those. Here comes trouble. Standard. Mm. So the other place to look when oh I had some potatoes in there. Oh I can do something clever with them, they're a bit bigger. Right, what else to put with it? We could put some beans. I've got chickpeas, I've got haricot beans, we've got roasted oil, I've got Oh, I'll tell you what I could do actually is use up some of these tinned olives, which generally aren't quite as nice as the ones in the packet that live in the fridge. Mackerel with sweet chilli sauce. Mackerel in teriyaki sauce. I've got some Pacific, Pacific salmon. Hammond. Um, I could put some black beans in it. I really don't know. I'll have a think and get back to you. So this is what I've come up with so far. Olives. Some dried tomatoes, I found some pickled cabbage, found some pilchards, that's the onions from the Indian takeaway, and I've got some white and black sesame seeds and some cashew nuts, which actually these were left over from my butter bowls that I did. So I'll put a link up there to those recipes. I've opened up what looked like the worst of the limes and they're all right inside, I've tasted a bit, it tastes limey. Tastes alright. So I might squirt a bit of that in. Right, 
So I guess what we need to start doing is getting the oven on. I'm going to fry up the potatoes with the garlic and then I'm just going to add stuff. I've never fried potatoes before and I, I don't know why I've decided to fry now. I just have. Can't be bothered to bake, it takes too long. We'll see how this goes. In here we've got the garlic and the potatoes. These are the onions left over from the Indian takeaway. Just to reiterate, I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never cooked this before. I don't know what it's going to be. What I'm doing is every now and again, I'm just pulling out a small piece of potato and then trying it to see if it's done. Mm, do you know? I need some seasoning. So I've got here salt and pepper. And I think. Salt usually makes stuff better. Lime time. Let's try it with the addition of the salt and pepper and the lime. Better. More lime. Potatoes cooking away nicely. I have the sun-dried tomatoes chopped up there and I've got the beetroot, not the beetroot, the cabbage but it's been a long time, it's been a long time since I've eaten pickled, pickled, what bloody hell is it? pickled red cabbage so I, I better try some before I stick it in my dinner yep, I can go in, it's nice So, a bit of pickled cabbage and a bit of the Indian onion. There goes nothing. <laughs> that ain't half bad. I think a bit more of the cabbage, because that's nice. And time for the sun-dried tomatoes to go in. I've just remembered about the kale, so I'm going to put that in now, quickly. Probably should have put this in a bit earlier, but there you go, I didn't. I put the kale in. I'm just thinking, I wonder if a splash of balsamic vinegar would go quite a long way. Or could completely ruin it. Hard to say. Do you know what? I've got, where are you? There, I've got a little drizzle. We'll start with that. I don't think that's going to do very much. Question it. Aha! I come prepared. Balsamic vinegar, or maybe Worcestershire sauce. Let's try some. Keep testing. When you're experimenting, you don't know what you're doing. Just keep testing. Ooh. I wish this was a size four to a good idea. You know, this could be totally mental, but I feel like it needs just a little hit of sweetness. I've got date syrup, I've got maple syrup, I've got agave nectar. I could be being completely mental now, but I'm going in with a little hit of agave nectar. I 
en tätt. Det var sånt pappa. Lite bit mer förstås. Lite bit mer dragen det där. Men det är inte det som Final taste test. Are we done? That is not half bad, considering I had no plan. So what I have not put in it is I didn't bother, didn't bother with the pilchard. I didn't bother with the olives. I don't think I'm going to put cashews with it, but I think I will sprinkle some sesame seeds over the top once I put it in a bowl. So I'll plate it up now and show you when it's a bowl. So, what do we think? Here is lazy Sunday afternoon dinner when you've got nothing in the cupboards. Time to feast. This is one of my better throw it all together dinners. They don't always work out well. This one definitely has. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.